Hey everybody, this is James Zapp from the Dapper Den Barbershop in Ridgefield, Connecticut, here with Dovo. Today we're going to go over shave gels, shave soaps, shave foams, and other type of shaving products, and which one might be right for you. ever gone to a drugstore and looked for shaving products of what to put on your face when you're shaving, you notice that there's usually an entire section dedicated to shaving products in a local drugstore. And they have a lot of different types of shaving products in these stores. However, we need to find out which one is right for you because there are some advantages and some disadvantages to each one. Now, before I go into this, if you're new to the channel, if you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit that little bell next to it, you get notification if we have new videos, that would be greatly appreciated. Thank you. The first one we're going to go over is shaving foam. What I have here is a can of Barbasol. This is probably the most popular one you'll see. To me, it's very nostalgic. It's what I used when I first started shaving, and the scent to me takes me back to when I was a kid. And also, you notice like your grandfather or your father might have shaved with a can of Barbasol and stuff. So the scent is very reminiscent. Now, one thing I do want to point out is that usually Barbasol will say shaving cream. However, this does come out as shaving foam. So this is one of the most popular ones that people use for shaving. Uh, it's extremely simple. You take the top off, you hit the top and foam comes out. It's that easy. So there are a couple pros and cons to this. The pro is that it's extremely, extremely easy to use because all you have to do is pop the top off, hit the button and you're ready to go with shaving. Uh, also a cool trick that you can actually use shaving foam for a lot of things with laundry and getting rid of certain stains and stuff like that. So it's always good to have one of these around for yourself. A couple disadvantages with a shaving foam is that the aluminum that it comes in can cause some allergies to people. Also, it is aluminum. So this is very wasteful if you're very environmentally uh, cautious or conscious. Another disadvantage about shaving foam, especially this one, is that the foam can usually run off quickly from your face. So you always have to kind of keep reapplying it to make sure the foam is still there. The next shaving product we're gonna go over is shaving gel. Now, what I have here is one by uh, Edge Company, Barbasol, and a whole bunch of other companies make a shave gel as well. They're all basically the same with a couple minor differences. For shave gel, pretty simple. Open up the top, hit the button, and you have shave gel. We use something here called uh, Elegance, or we'll use a Tomb 45 gel here, just because it's a lot easier than having it in an aluminum can, which again, can cause allergies to people. The biggest advantage about shave gel is that it's transparent. If you have a beard, or you have any type of uh, skin abrasions, or moles, skin tags, anything like that, you can actually see where they're gonna be on your face, and you can avoid them with the razor. As opposed to putting foam on it, you might forget where your line is on your beard, and might go too low, which would be awful, or you have a mole or something like that, and you might cut that off. I think lowering your beard might be worse, but that's just my opinion. Some disadvantages, like I talked before, it does come in aluminum cans. Some of them come in aluminum cans, which can cause allergies. Also, because gels are transparent and they become more popular over the years with the increase of beards, some gels can be more expensive than foam, soaps, and other things. The next shaving option we're gonna go over is shaving soap. Now, I don't have any shaving soap with me because it's usually not good use for barbers, and I will explain why. Shaving soap is basically just a bar of soap that you use a badger brush or any type of shaving brush. You use the brush around the soap, put it in a jar, a shaving jar, and you heat that up with hot water, and then you apply that to your face. Now, the advantage of this is that it's extremely economical. You could have a bar of shaving soap for almost a year and not have to buy a new one, which is fantastic. The disadvantage is for people like us in a barber shop, where we have to use a shaving soap, it takes a long time for us to actually make the lather itself from the bar of soap. Also, if you're using multiple clients, you don't want to be using the same soap, the same brush and everything. The time it would take to actually clean that as well for multiple people would be very time consuming. However, if it's your bar of soap that you're using or your shaving soap, then you're good to go. The next shaving product I'm gonna go over is shaving cream. Now, shaving cream and shaving foam are very similar in texture. However, there are differences in application and ease of use with shaving cream and shaving foam. There's a couple ways that you can use shave cream in order to make it work. The first one is you can wet your skin and then apply a little bit of amount onto your skin and start to massage that in until it starts to lather itself up. Another way you can do it is you can put it into a shaving jar with a little bit of hot water and then use a brush to create that lather with. The advantages about shave cream is that they're usually a little bit cheaper depending on which brand you go with. Here we just have a Cremo brand, which I just picked up from our local drugstore. It's super easy to use for beginners, especially if you're starting to get into the old school way of shaving and you wanna start using a brush and hot water as well. 
Some disadvantages about shaving cream is that it's not going to give you the best lather or foam as a uh, shaving foam would. Uh, you might have to reapply it a couple times, which might be a little time consuming for you. Uh, another disadvantage is that they do put a lot of chemicals in this sometimes for different fragrances and stuff, which might cause uh, allergies for you depending on what you're allergic to. The next product we're going to go over is body wash or shower gel. So whatever you want to call it. I just have a little tiny bottle of Dove Men Care Body and Face Wash, which usually everyone will have something like a body wash in their shower or something like that. If you don't, I'd maybe look into a body wash to start washing your body with. You can use that and a bar of soap also. I'm just saying you should probably, you know, if you don't know what body soap is or shower gel, you should probably do a little research on that. Advantages about using shower gel for shaving is that it's usually in every household and uh, it's fairly inexpensive. Disadvantages of using shower gel or body soap with shaving is that it's not meant for shaving. You should really only use this in an emergency if you don't have anything else to lubricate your face up or anything else to shave with because this is not going to help anything. It can cause irritation on your face because you have to run the blade over your face multiple times. It can also break down your blade and ruin your blade over the course of time just really not a good idea to use to shave with however if you're in an emergency and you're in a pinch this is better than nothing so if you're in a really big pinch and that you need to shave and you have no other option and there's no shower gel even available or any type of soap or anything, you could just use water. However, you will notice that after you shave, maybe an hour might go by and your skin will start to break out like crazy. The only advantage to this is that it's better than a dry shave. The disadvantages go on and on. You're going to get irritation, possibly some sort of allergic reaction, pimples, ingrown hairs, a lot of pain, a lot of redness. You might irritate your neighbors or your roommates because you're going to be screaming so much. The last option I'm going to go over for a shaving product to use on your face is shaving oils. Shave oils have become more popular over time because they provide a gentler shave and don't have as much irritation. It almost lubricates up your face as it's doing it. It's usually made of a lot of natural oils as well. The advantages about shaving oil is that it can be relatively inexpensive. You could actually go to any sort of grocery store and find some natural oils yourself and make your own mixture at home if you have sensitive skin so there's not as much irritation and you're controlling which oils actually go on your skin. Some disadvantages to shaving oils is that it can actually clog up your blade. If you haven't switched to a single blade razor yet and you're using a multi-blade system, those oils can actually clog up and actually almost damage the blade themselves. Uh, I would recommend already switching to a single blade razor and if you'd like to find out more about that I'll leave a link up here to why to switch to a single blade razor and also down in the description. Uh, a big disadvantage for me on using shaving oils is that the oil winds up getting on my hands. My hands get all sticky and gross and everything and also when you wipe it off in the sink the oil is going to stay in the sink so you do need to wind up cleaning that sink as well. As you can see there are a whole bunch of different types of shaving products you can use. All of these shaving products have different advantages and disadvantages depending on your skin type and what you prefer to use. Some people will say they like to use shaving foam because of the ease of use. Some people will say they like to use shaving soap because they like that old school feel of creating a lather and the economical use. Myself, I prefer to use shave gel and this is strictly because of the transparency of it. When I'm lining up a beard or lining up my own beard, I can see exactly what I'm doing. However, that is just my personal preference and if you got a second and you're using a shaving product in your face, let me know which one you're using down in the comments below. Thank you so much for tuning into the Dovo channel. If you haven't already, if you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and then hit that bell notification next to it so you know when we get new videos. Leave a comment down below if you'd like to. Let us know what you think about the video and also what kind of shaving soap or foam or gel or lather or water or whatever you use down below. If you'd like to find out more about Dovo, you can go to their website at www.dovo.com. If you'd like to find out more about the Dapper Den where I'm at, you can go to www.dapperdenbarbershop.com. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more videos.